Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. I am so excited to get to read with you because I feel like every time I read with you, I'm just celebrating uh, Children's Day and Books Day every day. Um, today I have a wonderful book for you called Edward the Emu. Um, I'll read for you the little blurb so you get to know a little bit about the book before we read it together. Edward the emu was sick of the zoo. There was nowhere to go. There was nothing to do. And compared to the seals that lived right next door, well, being an emu was frankly a bore. Tired of his life as an emu, Edward decides to try being something else for a change. He tries swimming with the seals. He spent the day lounging with the lions. He even does a stint slithering with the snakes. But Edward soon discovers that being an emu may be the best thing after all and so he returns to his pen, only to find a big surprise waiting for him. I think we'll find that this book is a, a quite a silly adventure, and I chose a book about animals so that we could celebrate a little bit of Earth Day as well. That was on, um, on Wednesday. Uh, I hope you really enjoy this book, and I hope you have got get comfy so that we can start. Are you ready? Okay. Edward the Emu by Sheena Knowles and illustrated by Rod Clement. Edward the Emu was sick of the zoo. There was nowhere to go. There was nothing to do. And compared to the seals that lived right next door, well, being an emu was frankly a bore. So that night, when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from his pen and he laughed as he said, the seals are the best, anyone can tell. So tomorrow I'll just be a seal as well. The next morning at nine when they opened the zoo, the seals were swimming and Edward was too. He dived in the water and basked in the sun and he balanced a ball on his beak just for fun. While Edward was enjoying the day, till he overheard someone behind the fence say, the seals are always amusing, it's true, but the lion's the best thing to see at the zoo. Uh oh, what do you think Edward's gonna do next? Looks like he's just about to eat a fish when he hears someone say that lions are the best. Hmm, make a prediction quick. Did you make it? Let's keep going. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from the pool and he smiled as he said, the lion's the best, anyone can tell, so tomorrow I'll just be a lion as well. Was your prediction correct? I don't know, mine wasn't correct. I thought maybe he'd dress up as a lion. I didn't think he'd visit the lions. Let's see what happens in the lion's den. The next morning at nine when they opened the zoo, the lions were roaring and Edward was too. He snarled at the ladies and growled at the men. Life was certainly grand for a lion in his den. Well, Edward was having a wonderful day till a man in the crowd had the gumption or the bravery to say, the lion's a beast I shall always detest. The snakes are the things that I like to see best. Uh-oh, what do you think? What do you think Edward's gonna do now? I bet he's gonna dress like a snake. That's my prediction. Did you make your prediction yet? Okay, let's keep going. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward crept from the cage and he grinned as he said, if the snakes are the best things and that's what they say, then tomorrow I'll be just a snake for the day. The next morning at nine when they opened the zoo, the snakes were all hissing and Edward was too. He slipped around the rocks, it was magic to see. Then he curled himself casually up around a tree. Were you right? My prediction was wrong. I thought he'd dress up as a snake and he turned, he, he practically turned into a snake. He joined the snakes in their pen and then pretended to be one. That's pretty crazy. Well, Edward was just warming up for the day when he overheard one of the visitors say, the snakes are impressive, I know that it's true, but the emus are by far the best thing at the zoo. What do you think he's gonna do now? Is he gonna dress up as an emu? You think he'll leave the snakes? Make a prediction real quick. You ready? 
The emu, gasped Edward. My goodness, that's me. I'm the thing that the, that that gentleman most likes to see. Not the seals, not the lions, the snakes, and the rest. It's Edward the emu who likes to see best. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward slipped from the cage and he laughed as he said, if the emu's the best, then that's easy then. Tomorrow I'm Edward the emu again. But Edward, Edward ran back. Uh, ran to the place where he used to reside, but oh, what a shock when he clambered inside. He found himself suddenly come face to face with the emu they'd brought in to take Edward's place. The emus considered each other a while. Then the new emu said with a shy little smile, Hello, I'm Edwina. It's nice to meet you. You're the best thing I've seen since I came to the zoo. How funny that Edward is so trying to be the best thing at the zoo when all along people have been thinking he's the best thing at the zoo and then he was replaced by an emu named Edwina. That's a really fun story. I loved the detail that the artist put into the pictures because it really helps us celebrate these animals and how fun they can look and how exciting it is. I want you all to remember that Children's Day and Books Day is April 30th. That's next Thursday. I know I'm going to be celebrating by reading all day long. Maybe you can find a way to celebrate with your family. Maybe you could have a reading contest, or maybe you could all read a book together um, after dinner or something. Let me know what you decide to do. I'd be eager to see how we all decide to celebrate Book Day and Children's Day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday and happy reading.